His family abandoned him, and a doctor adopted him. What he did next is hard to believe. In the serene embrace of Fountain Valley, a close-knit community nestled amidst rolling hills and vibrant meadows, a remarkable tale of courage, resilience, and unwavering love was about to unfold. At the heart of this story was a young child named Wyatt James Dunbar, whose extraordinary journey would leave an indelible mark on the hearts and souls of all who came to know his tale. The sunlit morning of Wyatt's birth brought boundless joy to his parents, Emily and Mark Dunbar. His arrival was a beacon of hope, a promise of a bright future brimming with laughter and endless possibilities. With his sparkling eyes and infectious laughter, Wyatt quickly became the heart and soul of their world, a bundle of joy that radiated an aura of pure happiness. As Wyatt's second year unfolded, his parents noticed something amiss. A tiny, innocent cough led them to seek medical advice, a step that would forever alter the course of their lives. A battery of tests anxiously awaited results, and hushed conversations in sterile hospital corridors culminated in a diagnosis that sent shockwaves through their world. A massive tumor had taken root within Wyatt's delicate body. The news struck Emily and Mark like a bolt of lightning, leaving them reeling with disbelief and heartache. Their once idyllic existence was now mared by the specter of a formidable battle they had never anticipated. As they absorbed the gravity of their child's condition, a profound determination ignited within them. They were resolute in their belief that comes what may, they would stand by Wyatt's side and navigate this daunting journey together. The medical odyssey that unfolded was an emotional roller coaster of hope, fear, and uncertainty. Countless trips to the hospital, sleepless nights spent by Wyatt's bedside, and relentless research into potential treatments became the new normal for the Dunbar family. Wyatt's resilience, often astonishing medical professionals, was a testament to the indomitable spirit that burned within him. His infectious laughter, despite the harsh reality he faced, illuminated even the darkest corners of the hospital corridors. News of Wyatt's condition spread throughout the tight-knit community of Fountain Valley like wildfire. The response was a testament to the power of unity and compassion that characterized the town. Fundraisers, prayer vigils, and a steady stream of well-wishers enveloped the Dunbar family in a warm embrace, a tangible reminder that they were not alone in their battle. As months turned into years, the Dunbar family's unwavering resolve remained steadfast. Each surgery, each treatment, and each milestone was celebrated as a victory over the relentless adversary that had taken residence within Wyatt's body. Emily and Mark, fueled by a love that knew no bounds, became pillars of strength for their son their tireless advocacy and boundless support and inspiration to all who witnessed their journey. Then, on a day that would forever be etched in their memories, the dawn of hope emerged from the shadows. After a long and arduous battle, the doctors pronounced that Wyatt's tumor had been conquered. It was a moment that defied description, a culmination of countless prayers, tears, and unwavering determination. The victory was not just Wyatt's alone. It was a triumph that resonated throughout the entire community, a collective exhale of relief and jubilation. Wyatt's recovery was a testament to the power of faith, love, and the undeniable strength of the human spirit. His journey had united Fountain Valley in a way that transcended the ordinary, weaving threads of camaraderie and compassion that would endure for generations. Wyatt's story had become a beacon of hope a living testament to the boundless potential that lies within each individual to overcome even the most daunting challenges. As Wyatt continued to grow, his laughter became a cherished symphony, a melody that reminded all who heard it of the indomitable spirit that had carried him through his darkest days. The once frail child who had faced insurmountable odds had blossomed into a young boy whose zest for life was contagious. Wyatt's parents, Emily and Mark, marveled at their son's ability to find joy in the simplest of moments, a lesson in gratitude that would forever shape their own perspectives. In the heart of Fountain Valley, Wyatt's story became an enduring legacy, a tale of resilience, hope, and the remarkable strength that lies within the human spirit. The town, once a backdrop to this journey, now stood as a testament to the remarkable heights of compassion and unity that could be achieved in the face of adversity. As the years passed, Wyatt's story continued to inspire. His journey became a source of strength for others facing their own trials, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, 
there is always a glimmer of light. Wyatt's laughter, echoing through the streets of Fountain Valley, served as a reminder of the power of unwavering love and the enduring triumph of the human spirit. And so, in the tranquil embrace of Fountain Valley, the story of Wyatt James Dumber lived on. A tale of courage, resilience, and the extraordinary capacity of the human heart to overcome the most daunting of challenges. His legacy, woven into the fabric of the town's history, was a beacon of hope that would forever illuminate the path for those who dared to dream, to believe, and to triumph over adversity. The medical condition described in the story of Wet James Dunbar is that of a tumor. A tumor is an abnormal growth of cells within the body. It can either be benign, meaning it is non-cancerous and does not spread to other parts of the body, or malignant, which refers to cancerous tumors that can invade nearby tissues and potentially spread to other areas. In Wyatt's case, the tumor was described as massive, indicating that it had grown to a significant size and was posing a serious threat to his health. The story does not specify the exact type of tumor he had, but the term massive tumor suggests that it might have been a malignant tumor, potentially a form of cancer. The growth of a tumor can cause a variety of health problems depending on its location, size, and whether it is cancerous. Tumors can interfere with the normal functioning of organs and tissues, leading to symptoms such as pain, discomfort, changes in bodily functions, and in some cases, life-threatening complications. Treatment for tumors varies depending on their type, size, and whether they are cancerous. Common treatment approaches include surgery to remove the tumor chemotherapy to kill cancer cells, radiation therapy to target and destroy cancer cells, targeted therapy to block specific molecules involved in tumor growth, and immunotherapy to boost the body's immune system to fight cancer cells. It's important to note that dealing with a serious medical condition like a tumor can have a significant impact on a person's physical and emotional well-being, as well as on their family and loved ones. The journey of managing and overcoming such a condition often involves a multidisciplinary approach, including medical interventions, psychological support, and a strong support network. In Wyatt James Dunbar's story, his experience with the medical condition highlights the challenges, resilience, and strength that individuals and their families exhibit when facing serious health issues. The story emphasizes the importance of medical care, unwavering support, and the power of love and determination in navigating the complexities of such conditions. Thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and hit the bell. Share your thoughts in the comments. Stay curious and see you in the next video.